Hey, how's it going? I'm Jetty. So, if you remember, about two years ago, I made a video about my first big girl piercing, which was just an industrial piercing. It wasn't, like, that major compared to other people's piercings. But it was my first piercing other than what was on my earlobes. So I figured... I see a lot of videos about people just getting their new piercings or tattoos, but I don't see a whole lot of, uh basically update videos, so that's what I'm gonna do now. This piercing was sort of like a birthday gift to me, um, it was when I turned 20 years old, two years later I'm about to be 22, so let's talk about pain. Not gonna lie, the first few months were, <laughs> they, they sucked. Not gonna lie, they sucked. If you get a big piercing like that, uh, it's going to take a really long time to heal. If I remember correctly, mine took about four to five months before it was not totally healed, but healed enough to where I could like start living my life again. <laughs> and by that I mean sleeping normally, washing my hair, brushing my hair, uh, where that I didn't hurt myself. <laughs> when it was still a fresh piercing, I cleaned it with salt and it wasn't the easiest thing until I came across the most amazing product in the entire world, which is basically H2Ocean. So if you remember the last video I had, they pierced it with a straight one, straight bar. That's pretty normal. I don't have a whole lot of um, different styles, but here's some of the things that I bought. There was a time frame where I started impulse buying um, new jewelry for my ear, and it was maybe like a span of a month so after that I never bought new jewelry uh, I, I've had this one in for ooh, let's say I want to say about a year now I've it's been in there for a while it doesn't hurt to move anymore thank God um, I haven't changed it so um, I'm sure if you try to change it, it might get a little irritated, but since it's already fully healed because it has been two years, I'm sure it's going to be a little easier than versus when I tried to change it out at six months, which was probably a really bad idea, but I did it anyway, and I didn't care because I'm dumb. My sleeping patterns have changed slightly, not dramatically. I can still sleep on my left side, but I still have to have it to where my ear is hovering off the pillow because I can wake up at night and it just gets irritated from the pressure and my ear pulling against the bar, so that's always fun. One of the things, one of the main big things that I was actually terrified of was the scarring and the keloids, but I actually didn't get anything, thank god. Oh my gosh, when I was on the internet researching this piercing, that's all I found was infected ears and large bumps, and it was very unflattering, so that was something I was very scared of, but luckily for me, um, I think H2Ocean also helped with this, but I kept it very clean. I did, I, I felt like I overcleaned it a lot, so the fact that I didn't get any bumps is very surprising. There is. Well, there was a big regret about getting this piercing, and it was actually... <sighs> I sort of and I sort of don't regret um, not getting it on this ear, just because you'd be able to show it off a lot easier. And this side, the hair is always covering it without it being up or in um, a headband. The longer I've had it and the more I'm progressing in my career, I'm <laughs> actually kind of glad that I got it on the side I did, because there's a lot of companies that are very strict about it, especially where I work, and I'm afraid if they ever saw it um, on the other ear, they would have asked me to take it out, and I really don't want to do that because the pain I had to go through, it's not worth it to take it back out. It's not. Just leave it in. I don't think, if I ever did take it out, I don't think I'd get it re-pierced again, honestly, just because the healing period... <sighs> <laughs> no bueno. <laughs> but overall, I completely love this piercing. I don't regret getting it at all, even though I sort of regretted getting it on the wrong ear. But like I said, the more I'm progressing in my career, I'm learning that it's 
probably a good thing that I didn't get it on the other side. <laughs> there is absolutely no pain at this point, um, no issues whatsoever. So if you are contemplating getting this piercing, just know, just be prepared <laughs> for the little journey you're going to go through. Everyone's different. Everyone's healing time is going to be different. But if you're looking for something that's going to be more on the edgy side and something you can hide easily if you have longer hair, I definitely recommend this if it is your style. Um, do your research. I definitely did and I'm really glad I did because I know what I was in for. I feel like if I didn't know, I would have been like, am I dying right now? <laughs> That's how bad it sucked, but I got through it relatively quick, so in the end, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I love it, and I wouldn't do it again, <laughs> but I'm glad I did. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to mention the most traumatic story I have with this piercing. I'm not sure when this happened and how far along I was in my healing process, I want to say it was maybe six months, give or take, but like I said, I don't know. So I was sitting at my desk and I have a really long wire going from my headphones to the floor and the wire got caught in my office chair. So I went down there to untangle it, right? I get it all situated. I pull back. I'm still on the floor. I pull back. Oh my god. <laughs> my ear, this back little ball right here, managed to wedge its way into one of the crevices of the chair. So when I pulled back, it got caught, and I thought I was going to die. <laughs> I had thought at that point, that I ripped <laughs> my earring out of my ear and I was so scared. The redness, my ear was so red. Um, blood, blood, there wasn't a whole lot of blood but there was still a lot of blood. <laughs> what? Um, compared to what it could have been, it didn't bleed that much but it hurt like a bitch. <laughs> it was so terrifying. I went to the mirror thinking that I was going to see this part just completely ripped out. Okay? <laughs> when I saw that it was alright, it might have had some tearing on the inside. <laughs> That's how bad it hurt. But I definitely pushed my healing process back to square one. <laughs> careful where your ear is. <laughs> um, I can tell you right now that that did not happen a second time. I made sure of that. That's the only thing I had. That's the only traumatic story I have with my piercing. Some people, they get infected and they gotta go to the hospital. I didn't have any infections or anything. <sighs> my ear was being perfect. It was the perfect little healing process. My jewelry was amazing, and then my bitch of headphones <laughs> had to get tangled. If you have a lot of wires and a rolling office chair, be careful please. I don't want this to happen to you. It just, just don't. So I think I covered everything I wanted to talk about, like there's really not much after two years. <laughs> It's just a piercing, it's normal, it's just like any other piercing, it's, it's there now. Um, the first video was a lot more in detail because the pain was still there and my ear was kind of traumatized. But um, if I missed anything, if you guys have any questions, feel free to contact me. But um, that's all I have, so uh, don't forget to follow me on social media, subscribe, join the Rock Mafia. I'll see you next time. Hey.